I am Dr. Akash Shah, first year CVTS resident from UN Mehta Hospital. Here at UN Mehta, where we get to see and manage all spectrum of cardiac cases like coronary artery bypass patients, valvular patients, mental surgeries, and switch operations, ICR patients, and vascular surgeries like peripheral arterial bypass patients, embolectomies, and thoracic cases like lobectomy and decortication. Here we also get to perform emergency procedures like IVP insertion, emergency embolectomies, arterial line insertions, PD catheter insertions. Uh, in ICU, we are always posted along with our senior residents and assistant professors from CVTS department. So they are always there to guide us and supervise us. Initially, it is very daunting experience, but as the time passes, uh, it becomes easy due to constant uh, guidance of our senior residents. Hi, I'm Dr. Mohan, MCH CVTS first year resident at UN Mehta. It has been six months since I joined UN Mehta and it has been a great journey so far. We have a good number of operating rooms with all the trained cardiac personnel and nursing staff who are posted in both recovery room and the ICUs round the clock. We are 12 in number and we are posted under every consultant based on rotation. That way we get to learn a lot how each case is dealt with both intraoperatively and postoperatively. Hi, I am Dr. Prathna Shah, first year MCH resident from UN Mehta Institute of Cardiology. Here at UN Mehta Institute, we get exposure of patients from OPD, IPD and emergency department. In this manner, we are able to follow up the patients from preoperatively as well as postoperatively. In OPD, we get patients from cardiac, vascular as well as thoracic pathologies. Talking about emergency department, we get to do various procedures such as intubation, arterial line insertion, IBP insertion to eco-guided pericardiocentesis and emergency uh, re-exploration for cardiac tamponade. Surgical work wise, here we are exposed to good number of cases in both adult and pediatric cardiac surgery as well as thoracic and vascular cases. Coronary artery bypass grafting, valvular cases, aortic surgeries and peripheral arterial bypasses are some of the routinely performed procedures here in the adult side. While in pediatric side, cases ranging from ASDs and VSD to more complex congenital cardiac surgeries are being performed on a daily basis. There is also a good amount of hands-on uh, right from the beginning of your residency uh, under constant supervision and guidance of uh, faculty as well as seniors, uh, which starts with uh, vein graft harvesting in CABG cases uh, to gradually going on to perform sternotomy and sternotomy closures and uh, going on cardiopulmonary bypass by the time you finish your first year. Hello everyone, this is Raja Rao, first year CVT assistant UN Mehta. Coming to academics, we have a very robust academic schedule where the one month schedule for the teaching program will be released one week before the starting of the month so that the resident can prepare their presentations and which are guided by the professors and associate professors. These seminars are divided into adult, pediatric and case presentations, mortality meets and interdepartmental seminars where in interdepartmental seminars we will get together by cardiac anesthetist, cardiac surgeons and perfusionists. These three people will come together to teach the basics of heart lung machine to the advanced where in the operation theatre how to manage a patient in the theatre. Coming to the pediatric seminars, we will start from the basics like anatomy of the heart to the advanced complex congenital heart diseases. Whereas in adult side, we will be teaching about all the scenarios and all the cases which are seen in day to day life and also rare cases where a cardiac surgeon encounters in his practice. We are having a huge library with almost access to all the world class national and international journals where uh, we can have access to them 24 into 7 all over the week and all over the year. One of the most interesting events which happen every week are the CATH meet. It's the meet where all the departments come together once a week for discussing case scenarios uh, of very difficult cases or those borderline cases which require decision making by best of the patient's uh, risk benefit ratio and to understand very rare cases which are presented here and to understand such cases where critical decision making is required and it is based on the expertise and knowledge of all the professors and all the cardiologists and the cardiac thoracic surgeons 
and always the decision is a joint decision making in the final and this helps us the most because we as residents get to present all these cases and by presenting these cases we get to understand how to deal with all these such cases on a day to day basis and we get to learn from the best hello this is dr shraddha shanai first year cbts resident pursuing my course here at uh, un mehta institute of cardiology and research center a uh, unm being a high patient volume center gives us a lot of opportunities to explore many rare cases uh, to get into a lot of publication and research related projects we also have a, a dedicated research department which helps us out with all kinds of rare case publications with case series with case reports and also in um, multi level research projects so uh, our thesis topics were specially chosen and hand picked by our mentors and uh, they have given us a special uh, topics keeping in mind uh, the rarity and also the applicability of those topics in the present uh, current uh, cbts branch as such the management provides a hostel facility which is absolutely free of cost with a single occupancy with well furnished rooms and the, it also provides the mess which is exclusively for the resident doctors and the staff doctors hi this is chirag kamath currently the first year uh, cvts resident at un mehta institute of cardiology ahmedabad uh, coming to the duty hours it's a very pretty uh, work life balance is very good at un mehta and uh, all the faculty are very supportive and uh, our duty hours are equally divided in a very good way so that we get a lot of exposure both to icu as well as the ot's and stressing on the fact that there is no bond at uh, gujarat in gujarat for cvts and the stipend is also a very good uh, fairly a good amount that is uh, almost uh, 1 lakh uh, 5000 around and every year it keeps increasing and uh, coming to the leaves uh, there are uh, uh, designated sick leaves as well as uh, casual leaves and the entire team of un mehta is very cooperative in giving us the leaves as well as uh, the uh, duty hours are divided in a very well manner i am riddhi danak mchc vts resident first year in un mehta institute uh, un mehta is a great place to pursue your residency in cvts here we have a great exposure to different workshops and seminars we uh, itself uh, un mehta organizes uh, different workshops like we had a workshop on mini procedures then there are workshops on uh, congenital uh, cases then there are workshops on surgical skills we recently had a workshop on echocardiography so all these uh, workshops we get to be a part of and we get to learn new things from uh, the mentors who come to attend these workshops also we are motivated to attend different seminars in different parts of the country where we get to learn new things from uh, different people this uh, academic program of residency has started in 2013 and uh, all my seniors have cleared and passed their exams with flying colors there are ample of uh, gold medalists too the, and some of our seniors are working in uh, the same un mehta as assistants and associate professors and some are doing fellowships in abroad and some are working in their own field of interest and i, I want to be like them doing the same thing and regarding the achievements of un mehta institute it has already nabh accredited and it is applying for the jci even though it is a government hospital it is at par with the private and corporate sector too uh, with a good infrastructure and uh, doing good to the needy patients in and around the gujarat and the neighboring states too so un mehta institute of cardiology is basically affiliated to the bj medical college ahmedabad and is located in the campus of civil hospital it is quite easily accessible and patients not just from gujarat but also from a lot of neighboring states come over here to get treated Besides this we have a lot of yojanas and schemes available here to help the patients financially and uh, thereby cut down the cost of cardiac surgery to bare minimum or almost negligible In fact uh, patients under the age of 18 years who are born in Gujarat have the facility of getting treated completely free of cost So uh, this gives us a very good uh, turnover and patient load over here Uh, thereby exposing us to a wide variety of pediatric and adult cardiac surgeries which in my opinion is one of the most important things that you look for while uh, trying to decide uh, for an institute for the cardiothoracic residency and that is why this is one of the best places to pursue the cardiothoracic residency so if you want to learn all the 
cases of cardiac vascular and thoracic surgery in all adult and pediatric age group uh, the best place to be is UN Mehta hospital UN Mehta it's a good center with huge amount of case load and a lot of exposure so UN Mehta is a great place for the overall development of a person as a CVTS surgeon. I feel to work and enjoy the work in uh, different uh, aspects of the cardiac surgery, pediatric cardiothoracic surgery, thoracic surgery and vascular surgery, which are every different sub branches are available in our uh, institute. Why we should take UN Mehta for cardiac surgery? This is one of the largest institute in India where you get to know the exposure of all the pediatric and adult cases and also where you get to know from the experts how to learn cardiac surgery and where they are the best teachers so that the resident could get maximum from their teachers. So I would recommend uh, UNM uh, for a perfect balance between the academic related projects and also the research and publication related matter because here we have a lot of fertile ground for all the publications and all that uh, we need to do in the field of research. And the students who achieved a good rank in the NEED Super Speciality Competitive Exam will, can definitely uh, choose uh, UN Mehta Institute of Cardiology and Research Centre without any doubt because of its uh, a uh, huge exposure in the adult CVTS, pediatric CVTS, thoracic surgery and uh, vascular surgery also. Overall, UN Mehta is a great place to pursue a residency in uh, CVTS as we have a variety of exposure to different things. There, uh, there is a great exposure to in uh, academics also. So it is one of the best places where you can pursue your residency. If you ask me why you should take up UN Mehta, I feel you learn from the best of the best here and that learning never stops here.